Hello and welcome back. Today we are talking about five mistakes beginning minimalists tend to do, some of which I did myself when I first started out. So let's crawl right into it. A few years ago, I was in a state of not knowing what to do with my life. I was happy, had a job, a girlfriend and all of that. But I didn't know where I want to go. And then I discovered minimalism and nothing changed about that. Jokes aside, it really didn't change that. It changed a lot, but it didn't change everything. We humans tend to look out for the one perfect, simple and easy solution to every single problem. But let's face it, there is no such thing for nothing really. Minimalism can help to clear your mind, design and structure your life in a more simple way. It can save you money, but it's not the answer to everything. And this is a perfect good transition onto the next point. Yes, I am a minimalist, but not just, and you shouldn't too. Humans, as cats would say, according to the internet, we want to belong somewhere, to a place, a group or whatever. You see this everywhere, people identifying with one thing only. Religion, veganism, fitness, minimalism, you name it. So don't make this mistake yourself. You're more than a label of a group that you belong to. I'm a minimalist, but also I'm a hobby photographer, a YouTuber, a barkeeper, a chef, a seniorist, a car lover, a gin tonic drinker, the list goes on and on. Don't be just one thing and don't bring it up everywhere, every time, to everyone. And you know what? That actually is a perfectly good transition into the next mistake. Again. You know, I don't have problems like this because I am a minimalist. Wouldn't happen to you if you were a minimalist too. You know, minimalism saved me like forever. As soon as we find something that solves a lot of things for us, something that we follow with passion and energy, and this something is making us so much happier than we were before, we want to share this discovery with everyone around us. We want them to see what we see and to understand what we now understand. But you can easily switch from reporting into crusading for your own beliefs. And from that you can be a dick about it by acting like you are superior to the people around you just because of the lifestyle that you started following. So don't be a dick. From being a dick we can make once again an awesome transition into the next mistake. Talking about dick cluttering. Ha! I'm sorry. This one is probably the most obvious. You discover minimalism throughout a blog post or a YouTube video from the world famous Simon Grain. You get overly excited about finally get some grip on parts of your life and live simple and more intentional and then you go full nuts and get rid of everything. One year later, you regret getting rid of one thing, and then the other, and then the other, and over a sudden, you start hating minimalism, your life, and yourself. And if that's not obvious, this isn't the goal of minimalism. So go easy. Don't overexcitedly hop into the cluttering. Take your time, step by step. If you don't know where to start with decluttering, I've got a perfectly awesome video here on my YouTube channel about five ways of that. I link it somewhere there and somewhere down there and you can find it, you can watch it and I bet you there's at least one way that fits your personal needs perfectly. Awesome. Incredible. Ridiculous. Weird. Me. No matter if you talk about minimalism or any other kind of lifestyle, you can't be a minimalist if I'm so much more minimalist as you are. I'm an extreme minimalist. Blah 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 blah. Minimalism? It's a tool, you fool, that adapts to your personal needs and you can't put that into comparison. You can't say someone else's minimalism is less worth as yours. You're not in the race of who gets the most minimalistic the fastest because that just doesn't make sense, does it? So calm down and remember what the idea behind minimalism truly is. Making your life simpler the way that you 
wanted to. Enhance what's most important to you and getting rid of everything that you feel you don't need. So that's been it. Those were five mistakes. Five mistakes beginning minimalists tend to do. I hope you liked this video. If you did so, you know what to do, right? Oh, I bet. I bet you know what to do, you sexy little thing, you. Sorry. Bye. That was the weirdest and creepiest outro ever. Coming from me. Shit gets worse. Outro gets worse. Every single time I do another video, the outros get worse and worse and worse. Ah!